to my channel and welcome back to a brand new video so for today's video we're doing a good old-fashioned Primark haul so Primark's one of the places I don't go to very often anymore I literally used to love it when I was like 17 18 I would love every week I'd go to Primark but I don't really go in there anymore just because I feel like my style has changed and Primark sometimes like don't they just don't do it for me so I went to Primark on Tuesday on my day off with one of my best friends and as you can see by the two bags, Primark pulled through. So I'm going to be showing you guys what I picked up from Primark. Um, a lot of it is like more like cosy, comfy wear. So perfect for this time of year. So if you do enjoy the video, smash a big thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe. But let's get into the two bags. Okay, they've been in the bag since Tuesday. So you can have to ignore the creases. But first up, we've got this pair of joggers. So these are a khaki pair of joggers. They've got like an elasticated waist. But then they've also got like a pulley waist. So you can really cinch stuff in there. But the reason I like these is one, I don't own anything khaki, and two, I don't know what the material is. Even if you really want close, you can't tell, but it's like really, really, really soft. I did pick these up before when I went to Primark, but I got them in a size 8 when I went with Shan. And I put them on and they were just too tight. And obviously you can't try obviously you can't try stuff off them. But obviously you can't try Oh my god, I actually can't speak. But obviously you can't try stuff on at the minute, so yeah, I had to return them, but they didn't have a 10 when I went back. So I picked these up in a size 10. They've got pockets. They're going to be really, really comfy. And I think khaki styled with black. Just a sick outfit. And these were £13. £13 for a good pair of joggers that are literally going to go with anything. I would style this with like a black high neck top, some chunky black trainers, a leather jacket over the top would look sick. But yeah, that's the first thing. I'm very, very happy with these. Haven't tried them on yet, so I'm going to hope that they fit. So next up, we've got a little crew neck jumper. I'm really loving wearing these at the minute. As you can see, I've got one on now. Oh, it got me this one for my birthday. This is from ASOS. But this one is like a baby blue colour. This is a small. This is a small. Look how big and oversized it is. That's going to be so comfy. On the front it says Chamonix. Um, I'm guessing it's French because it says France at the bottom. I really, really like that the stitching is the same colour blue as the jumper. I think it looks a lot more expensive than it actually was. These are really, really in fashion at the minute as well. There's some got, got, like, Chanel ones going around. I know it's not Chanel, but like it was £12. Like I said, this is a small, but it's really, 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 really oversized. So if you wanted to wear it as like a jumper dress, I mean, you could size up and definitely get away with that. I'd probably wear it with like, I was going to say like white cycling shorts, that would be sick, but it's really cold. So maybe some like grey joggers would look sick with this. Got it in a small, which is a 10 to 12, 12 pounds. It's just so oversized and comfy and I just can't wait to put this on my body, basically. So next up, we've got a little co-ord. I was going to save this, like to show you last, because I was going to save for the best till last, but I'm so excited about this co-ord. This is just like ultimate, comfy, autumn, winter, chilling in the house. You can even put some trainers on and wear it out, but I'm so, I just can't wait to wear this. It's really, really soft. So I'll show you the jumper first. So this is like a knitted jumper. It's like grey and white stripes. I don't know if you can see it that well. I will bring it closer in a sec. So it's like a really nice knitted hoodie. It's got a nice big hood on the back. Long sleeves, which are like cuffed at the ends. Then the bottom bit. It's got like a string so you can pull it and not like do it tighter if you wanted to. This is the softest thing. Primark were pulling it, like pulling through with their colours. There's so many different colours. But as soon as I saw this, I was like, yep, yeah, need that in my life. I picked the jump up in a size large, which is a 14 to 16. Just because I wanted it to be like really big and slouchy and cosy. I probably will just wear this around the house. Or like if I'm just going to the shop or something. So I got this in a 14 to 16 and this was £13. So that is the jumper. Love that. And then these are the matching trousers. So these are the same material. They're knitted. But they're a wide leg pair of trousers. These are just going to be so comfy. And I don't own any wide leg trousers. So thanks Primark for my first pair. I'll come in close so you can see the grey and white stripes on them. So that is what it looks like. The waistband is grey and they do have drawstrings. So you can really cinch yourself in if you wanted to. This is going to be the comfiest little set for autumn winter. Got them in a small which is a 10 to 12. Because... Annoyingly, Primark don't do a size 8. They have a 6 to 8 or a 10 to 12 or I'm not like in the middle of that. So I went for a 10 to 12 just because, again, comfort is key. That is what we need. The trousers were also £13. So that is like £26 for a full little cohort set. That is the cutest thing, first of all. Grey and white bit of me and it's just like the softest. The knit doesn't feel like itchy or anything. It does feel soft. So that's going to be my go-to little cupboard for autumn winter this year. And I couldn't be happier with it. So thank you Primark for that little gem. This is definitely my favourite thing I picked up out of the whole haul. Haven't tried it on yet so I don't want to say too much. But 
I love it. So last up for clothing, we've got a pair of jeans. These are paper bag, high waist jeans. So these, I really like the detailing of the lines down the front and the pockets, which is why I picked them up. The only thing I'm not too sure on is the colour. If you know me, you know I'm really, really picky about the colour of denim that I wear. I like it to be like this perfect, cool toned, vintage wash denim. I don't really like blue, blue denim. I feel like this is like a little bit, maybe a little bit too blue. But I picked them up anyway to try. So I really, really like the paper bag waist because that's me really, really nice and flattering when you put them on. These detailings is what made me get them, like I just said. But they are quite a wide leg and then you can roll them up at the bottom to give them a little bit more shape. They've got little pockets on the back. Um, but yeah, that is the jeans. I got them in a size 10. Hopefully they fit me because jeans are always a struggle. If you've been watching my videos for a while, you will know I struggle with jeans and stuff on the bottom half. So these are a mid blue, which is like, I don't know if it's a bit of me, but we're going to try them on. We're going to give them a chance. We're going to see how we feel. These were £13, like £13 for a pair of jeans. £13 for a pair of jeans. The quality of them feels really nice as well. They're not really thin. They're like a proper sturdy denim. So you're definitely getting, I was going to say you're getting your money's worth, but you're easily getting your money's worth anyway because they are so cheap. But I think styling these with like a jumper like this or like a hoodie or a high knitted turtleneck would be cute. I don't know why I went. <laughs> but yeah, £13, chunky trainers, whack them on, good to go. I don't really wear jeans anymore, but the style of those, I just couldn't not try them. So if worse comes to worse, we can just take them back. So I've just got a couple more bits to show you guys. So picked up some bras. Who doesn't love a new bra? I just can't justify spending a lot of money on a bra. I don't know if it's just me being stingy or just me being stingy. But I just can't justify spending loads of money on a bra. Because one, I don't like wearing them anyway. But you know when your bras are just like, I have to wear a proper bra to work and things like that. So they're going a little bit now. So I just wanted to pick up some new ones. So I've got this little three pack. We've got pink, purple and then a baby pink at the back. Nothing special. Just some new bras. These were £8 for a pack of three. So I know they probably don't last as long as more expensive bras. But when you're paying £8 for a pack of three. You can just divide buying them more often. So that's them. So I did really want to pick up some new necklaces. And like jewellery and stuff. But that little section of Primark just wasn't doing it for me. Usually I love Primark necklaces. I'll go in there and pick up loads. But this time there was only one necklace that I liked. It was like a this kind of style. But it had like little gold stars on it. But it was in like a pack of four. But I only like the one necklace and I didn't really want to buy the whole set just for one necklace if you know what I mean. So didn't get any jewellery this time but I've got a few, a few beauty bits to show you. So first of all we've got this duo lash glue. This is my favourite lash glue and mine's running out. So it's just the standard clear little squeezy tube. I hate buying lash glue. <laughs> don't know if it's just me but I just hate spending money on lash glue. Especially when it's £5.50 like. It's a little bit annoying but we all need it. Speaking of lashes, look at these. Quick little shout out to BMC Cosmetics. Follow them on Instagram for the sickest eyelashes. These are the Style Santorini. They're so like big and fluffy. I love them. So we've got some lash glue and then of course, would it be a Primark haul without going and picking up some makeup wipes? I don't think it will be. These are the Bare Faced Beauty. Just a two pack of wipes for a pound. I swear by these, I've literally got about four different sets. I think in this drawer actually, I've got another pack of these exact ones. Yep. Yeah can never have too many and the last thing i picked up was a brow pencil but this isn't actually i'm not going to use it for my brows i've been on the hunt for a brown lip liner like a brown lip combo for ages so if you've got any recommendations leave them down below for me i don't know what it is but i don't really like this pinky lip color well i do like it but i want like a brown just a nice brown lip combo so primark i don't know why but i've been into like three different primarks and they only have pink or red lip liners left they used to have so many different colors but now they're gone, I've got pink or red. So I just thought I'd pick up a brown brow pencil to use for a little brown lip liner. I think this is in the colour blonde, so it's not going to be too dark. Yeah, in the colour blonde, so I'm just going to use this. Or attempt to use this to line my lips. And it was only a pound, so. And the bags are empty. So for all of that stuff, I paid £79.50. Like, that's not bad. That's not a bad going. So if there's anything in this haul that you did like, be sure to get yourself down to Primark ASAP because their stock is changing all the time. Like every time you go in there, there's no things in there. So if you like any of it, off you go to Primark. We're going to end this video here. So thank you so much for watching. If you did enjoy, smash a big thumbs up. Subscribe if you're not already. We're getting closer to 3K. And we're going to do a little giveaway at 3K. Make sure you follow me on Instagram as well if you're not already because 
why not? That is everything I picked up from Primark. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you guys in my next video.